Hello everybody, my name is Cosmonaut, and today we're just going to do a bunch of Genshin Impact wishes. Genshin Impact is a gotcha game, where, which means you basically gamble to get new characters or items. You can get all these little premium currencies using this other currency, and there's two more currencies that you can use to buy more wishes which are basically little tokens that you put into this slot machine. We'll start off with the basic uh, beginner's wish. Unfortunately, we can only do this twice. Forever. So let's see who we get. There's the purple. That means we get Noel. There's, the... There's a bow. We get Masterless Stardust. And we get a book. And a sword. Oh. And a great sword. And Noel. So that's how all this works. Oh, and a club. And a bow. So yeah, you get as many items as you put in wishes. And you hope that you get some good stuff. You will guarantee you get something that's four stars or greater for every ten wishes. So let's keep on going. And we get a bow! And a sword. And a great sword. And sucrose! And a bow. And a sword. Oh! I wasn't expecting to get two characters. That's nice. Nice. We get two four-star characters. I like that. So now that that's done, we can move on to here. I like going for characters. Because, well, you play as characters. So let's hit this wish times ten button and see what we get out of. And a special sword. And a book. So what's this sword all about? So basically every five hits you do more damage. That's... That's a pretty good sword. Do another one of these. A spear. An orb. A spear. A sword. A sword. Kuju Sarah. And Barbara. <laughs> Let's take a look at the characters that we just got. So, we got Noel, we got Ningguang, we got Sucrose, we got Pooja Sarah, and we got Barbara. You'll never grow up. I think you're like a crow turned into a human or something. In your scientist. You are pretty much the richest person in the world. You're just a good person that's also a maid. By the way, Noelle is the best character in the game. Yeah, we also got like a million items. Like this flute, this sword, and like a million different little things. Start condensing some of these down. And we can get around to assigning different characters different weapons because. Some of these characters don't have the best weapons. Best equip you to you. I'm gonna give that one to uh, Barbara because she is a water-based user. I'm gonna give this one to Sucrose. She uses air powers uh, based upon that little symbol there. And that means 
uh, Ning Wong gets this book. And that's equipped to Ning Wong. So I'm going to give you to Noel. Okay, so we have all these level 1 items. Well, now we can level up these items up. Let's start with the debate club. Now you can go to enhance. We'll set it to three stars because I've locked all the three star items that I want to keep. And we can hit auto add. As you can see, it adds 11 levels. So, hey, that's good for us. And we can just keep on doing that. And boom, it's level 20. Hit confirm, and we can actually ascend this. That means we can level up further to level 40, which matches with all of our characters. So yeah, why not ascend it, seeing that we can. And boom, we have a level 40 debate club. Let's check out some of our new characters. Do a quick setup and we'll grab out we'll grab out these four. How about that? I will lead us to victory. That's good. We, we like victory. Now all these characters are level one, so Anybody around us is probably gonna just destroy us. And we're probably gonna see that notification going on for a while. Oh, no, it, it, it's done. But we can do this little puzzle that I wasn't able to do before because I didn't have someone who could use the wind and someone who could use the rock in the same party. Uh. Oh, nice! Dang it, let's actually solve a puzzle here. Okay, uh... Oh. Oh! Well, I... I wasn't expecting that. Let's, let's get to these chests. Okay, cool! Well, that was a nice surprise. So... Again. Okay. So, there are elemental reactions in this game that, well, you need different elements to react. One of them is uh, if you use powers of the earth along with uh, any other element, you can create a little force field, which a lot of the times is a handy thing to have. Uh, the powers of wind are are a very handy tool because they interact with pretty much every element. Well, let's take you over here. See if there's anybody with any kind of fire-based attack. 
there tend to be people that shoot fire. Yeah, like you. Yeah, just throw your fireball at, at, at me. Come on, come on, you can do it. And yeah, air attacks tend to also like transfer uh, elemental conditions onto other enemies. So I I, I like the air attacks. So yeah, that's that's you done. So every character has a set of elemental skills, which are little bursts of power. They also have elemental uh, bursts, which are like super abilities. Dismantling training equipment. So we can do that. And then when Swirl found that electrical power. Oh, yeah, you are terribly weak. Let's give ourselves a shield. Okay. Man, you're, you're pretty good at throwing rocks. Oh, and you have your elemental burst. That's great. Hey, you. You're unlucky enough to... Well, that wasn't that good. Don't waste that time. We can also make a little cape wall thing that we can just walk right through. But I think it's more solid for enemies. I don't know. Let's, let's find some more little little friends that we can follow them. Hello there. Okay, so Sucrose is nearly dead. Um, let's heal her up. That, I think that'd be best. Okay, Sucrose, please don't die on us. Now, there are things in the environment like campfires that will actually work as elemental, like, just elements out in the open. You can see, like, orange is fire, green is, like, grass, or nature. There is also water that will make people wet, so that they can conduct electricity, or be frozen. Okay, we just need a few more enemies so that... Sucrose can use her super ability. Or ultimate. Whatever you want to call it. And maybe we level up these characters because they are very easy to kill at the moment. I'm surprised I haven't accidentally killed one of these characters. Oh, 
it looks like there's a commission down there. Let's... <laughs> do, do we take on the giant axe-wielding creature? Um, what do you say? Honestly, she looks like she's gonna get <laughs> beat up. Oh yeah, she's dead. For some reason, you have the strongest weapon. Uh, Sucrose, get an egg. It'll heal you. I, I, I promise. Take a shield. Level some of these characters up, should we? Okay, level 12, that's at least comparable. So it seems like. And at least turn some of the tides. Okay, so someone's shooting. One of them is shooting an electric bolt at me, the other one's shooting. Uh, what this does. Oh, wait, we've already seen that. <laughs> Why was I thinking that we had? 
Now, the problem is, he won't block this with his shield. Oh, we can burn his shield with fire. And if we just keep him next, next to this flame, we can burn it away. And then we can overload him. And then we can hide him over here. And we can... Okay, wow, you make a vortex. That's great. And now we can destroy this last structure in peace. Just like that. There's no, wait, there's more reinforcements? Ah! And this is why I like Noelle. She can just been. He's a nice little baby. Why do all these guys have electro on them? I mean, water on them. <laughs> that makes them very. Makes them very subject to volatile elements. Stay down. You're, you're not doing anybody any damage. Actually, yeah, I think I might add add her to my team's lineup. You're nearly dead. Let's give let's eat, eat some chicken, please. But yeah, that was basically Genshin Impact in a, in a nutshell. Just a whole lot of gambling and a whole lot of grinding.